yeah. Nothing to it but to HQ it. Question number one, here we go. What provides most light for the Earth? Flashlight apps, the sun, or glow sticks? What's it gonna be? I told you we won't start out easy. I tell you that every time. All right, so if you get this one wrong, I don't know what to tell you, fam. You can get light from candles, like the one I burned the roof of my mouth on, uh, a flashlight, even the cell phone pointed the right way. But for broad, powerful light coverage for miles around, be glad the sun's never sent out a bill. 334,691 of you got the sun. Uh, I get I guess 644 of y'all really like raves. Yeah. Okay. Question number two. Hair that is cut to lie over the forehead is commonly known as what? Fangs, bangs, or thangs? Ooh, that Twinkie came up a little bit. I haven't had Twinkie in so long. Twinkielicious. <laughs> We've seen them on Zoe Deschanel, Jane Fonda in, uh, in Clute, uh, George Clooney in his ER Caesar cut phase. You know, they're bangs, babies. Listen, okay, if you got a friend that just went through a breakup, don't let him get bangs. It's always a mistake. Personally, though, I love bangs. 328,300. Just got that one right. Congratulations, babies. You're moving on to question number three. Yeah. Q3. Which of these is a carnivorous plant? Dandelion, Venus flytrap, or artichoke? What's it gonna be? A carnivorous plant. Question number three. All right, most plants, you know this, are satisfied with some nutrient-rich soil, a little bit of water, and light from the sun, not glow sticks. But sometimes you see a buff beast plant who's hankering for some beef to chew on. Yeah, there are uh, pitfall traps, bladder traps, and the popular Venus fly trap. Feed me, Seymour! 315,402 got that one right. It's time for question number four, knocking at your door. Uh, let's get it. Which nation is not on the island of Hispaniola? Jamaica, Haiti, or Dominican Republic? It's not on the island of Hispaniola, y'all. So it's this one, uh, let's see. Let's see what y'all come up with. The Caribbean's second biggest island is actually the largest by population. Did y'all know that? Yeah. It helps to have one, uh, more than one nation set up there, though. The island's five mountain ranges help separate the Dominicans from the Haitians. But Jamaica! That's his own island. Big up yourself. Top shot of on data. Nobody bother. Respect. 237,789. Just got that right. I'm so proud of you. Let's go get a beef patty and cocoa bread. Selector. All right. Here we go. Ah, 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 ah. Question five. Question five. Ah, 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 ah. Question five. You have. Here we go. Where does a sommelier typically work? Supermarket, restaurant, or spa? Sommelier. Where they typically work in that? Hmm? What's it gonna be? Here's a hint. You're at a pretty fancy one if they've got a sommelier. And they likely had years of education preparing them to recommend and serve bottles of wine at restaurant tables. Yeah. 192,422, y'all, popping bottles. Pew, 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 pew. On your way to question number six. Yeah, if you're popping bottles, show me in the chat. <laughs> All right, question six, here we go. How is Kara zor -El related to Superman? Cousin, mother, or aunt? Kara zor -El. How is she related to Superman? All right, we had to give you a Kryptonian name because in DC Comics history, a lot of powerful ladies have gone by the name Supergirl, but only Kara zor -El is the cousin of kal -El. It's a bird, it's a plane, it's question seven, 102,154, y'all, a zooming on like the man and woman and people of steel to question number seven. Okay, dokie, here we go. A chiropodist is an old-fashioned term 
for a doctor now known as what? Orthopedist, podiatrist, or chiropractor? What's it going to be? I mean, this was up until about 100 years ago, everybody called him chiropodist. Uh, but it's from the Greek for hands and feet. Then Americans said, let's just keep the pod part and call the field podiatry. Then people will know that we do feet. Yeah, 53,073 in the place to be. I'm moving on to question number eight. Their feet feeling great, just taking strides. On over there to question number eight. Here we go. Stargate was the video game sequel to what 1981 arcade hit? Galaga, Scramble, or Defender? This is one of the harder arcade classics. It had an unusual control scheme, took some getting used to. Uh, the sequel only up to Ante though with an extra button. And a Stargate plunked in the middle of the world of Defender. Yeah! 40,229 of you gotta defend yourself against question number nine. Here we go! Let's get it how we live it, y'all. Let's go. Question nine. What designer was behind this notorious look at the 2014 Grammys? <laughs> was it Vivian Westwood, Virgil Abloh, or A.D. Slimon? Hmm? Who's it gonna be? Vivian Westwood, Virgil Abloh, or A.D. Slimon? A.D. Slimon. It's French, so I gotta say it like that. All right. Whew, Pharrell's big Mountie-esque hat was actually from a 1982 Vivian Westwood collection. Despite being mocked for it, you, you have to admit, big hats are better than tiny little, little teeny tiny hats, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's fashion, baby. Chic AF. 29,902 of y'all got that right. It was a Vivian Westwood hat. Congratulations to y'all. Question number 10. Here we go again, my friends. Time to get it in. What band is being satirized in this Saturday Night Live skit? That, it doesn't work for me. I gotta have more cowbell. <laughs> Don't blow this forest, Gene! I got a fever, and I need more cowbell. <laughs> that cracks me up every time. Is it Jethro Tull, the Almond Brothers Band, or Blue Oyster Cult? Who they making fun of on SNL in that sketch, y'all? Cowbell sketch, everybody remembers that. Nobody can forget it. It's the cowbell sketch. Okay, but forgetting the band is uh, inversely proportional to age. This showed a speculative version of the recording of Don't Fear the Reaper, the highest charting song by Blue Oyster Cult or HQ Oyster Cult. 27,593 got it right. I said, Jerome in the house, watch your mouth. Yeah. I'm so proud of you guys. Don't forget, HQ Words is coming up next at 9.30 p.m. Eastern Time. That's with my homegirl, Anna Voiceman. Pim, 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 pim. Y'all know we got the same birthday? That's crazy. June 15th. Yeah. Okay. Question 11. All dogs go to heaven. Here we go. What kind of painting is the most expensive one ever sold at an auction? Still life, religious, or nude? Hmm? People love art, man. That's my profound quote of the night. People love art. They want to spend their millions on paintings. And hey, why not? It's an investment, right? Nine-figure sales for Picassos and Van Goghs happen all the time, all right? But the champion is a 450 million Da Vinci. Woo! Salvatore Mundi. Uh, it was a Jesus painting. Oh, Lord! That's a savage question. 17,000 of y'all thought it was nude. <laughs> Perverts! Savage Quest song! Sorry you got it wrong! Savage Quest song! It was Jesus in the painting! 6,334 of you are moving on to question 12. Let's go to work. Question 12! What's that smell? Smells like money! Follow me and Matt was funny! <gasps> Here we go. Mm. I need some Neosporin for the roof of my mouth. It is hot! From the candle wax. Why did I do that? Just to get a chuckle out of some of y'all. Here we go. Question 12. The most well-known residence for US presidents was designed by an architect from where? Canada, Netherlands, or Ireland? 
question 12, baby. This is, this is it. This is, it's over after this, y'all. You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm talking about. It's, I'm, let's see. What is it? Okay. America's strength has always come from abroad. And that was especially true in 1790 when there were more, there were fewer American-born Americans. You know what I'm saying? Just, uh, just one of the immigrants who created the look of our country was James Hoban, born in County Kilkenny, Ireland, babies. Oh, snap! 4,358 of y'all just won HQ trivia. <laughs> Congratulations to our winners, all 4,358 of you. Tanya Dixon, that's an easy name, thank you Tanya for not trying to trip me up. News Chris something, Desert Fish, The Elim, Muffins 45, Joel Core 204, Kimary P, DSS Bulldog, J Casper, Bit Soul, Daphne, Moo Bear. <laughs> so proud of y'all for winning. Happy birthday to you. Yes. I mean, Romney. You did it. You're officially on the HQ leaderboard. Want a chance for some more money? Come back tomorrow for some trivia at 9 p.m. Eastern. And then again at 9.30 p.m. for HQ Words. Oh, man. I've been your host, Matt Richards, a.k.a. Matt Was Funny. Follow me on social media. Let's be friends, okay? Have a nice Tuesday, babies. Or Twinkie Tuesday. Mm-hmm.